getting ready for this banquet is definitely not working out how I wanted it to at all. Oh, the setup's so cute. You look like you got a makeover, buddy. Creeper. But you have a nice car. So we're gonna go ride the hot air balloon there and then also hit up the farmer's market. But it's shaking. Yeah. <laughs> we go floating in the outer space. I didn't know that part of the deal Or know how quick it get real Feeling so fleeting Me and myself need a meeting To make it clearer Conversate with the mirror Watch your language when talking to me I'm the one that's with you Speak some life in the self You should opt in the optimism When options turn into prisons Getting off of the slimmest pickings Remember this place we in Is a thief of joy Yeah, the steal But no matter how Yo, the parking situation today At Blue Bottle Was an absolute fucking nightmare Oh my gosh I circled like times trying to find a damn parking spot and now I'm trying to get out of here that is super stressful but I picked up the same sandwich again the ham and cheese it's just it's so fucking good but I'm like really bummed they don't have the coffee that I got last time I got like their special which was like a chocolate Nola cold brew and it was bomb but I guess they switch up the specialty coffee every once in a while. So I tried their like new specialty, which is an orange blossom. It's okay, it's a good coffee, don't get me wrong. It's not good or bad, but like the orange blossom flavor is definitely unique. But it's just that like the chocolate one blew me away so much. So I was expecting to be like blown away again. And again, it's good not amazing so so not gonna lie a little bit bummed about that but it is like i said still a good coffee so now i'm rushing to my hair appointment luckily a blue bottle was not that far it's like literally one street over so i mean i had to like tell my hairdresser like hey i'm so sorry i'm running late but luckily i'm super super close so i should be there relatively soon but yeah i'm getting my hair done i'm just doing a mini touch-up which means we're just doing the front here she's gonna trim the bangs typically on a mini we mainly just do the money pieces but since i have bangs we have to do like all of the front here and then money pieces on the side and then because like as the bangs grow out it kind of starts to look like a headband so we'll have to highlight a little bit back here as well just so that it kind of like blends as it grows out but yeah that is what's on the agenda today and it kind of works out perfectly because trevor's bank what is tonight so i don't have to do my hair for his banquet well actually i'm gonna have her curl it i kind of want to wear my hair up but i'll at least have her curl it and that should be easy to just like throw it up in a little quick updo so anyways i'm here i'm late so i'm just grabbing my lunch and stuff and i gotta go back from the hair salon hair's looking good but i am running so fucking behind right now because I had meant to do, I think, did I already mention this? I had meant to do my makeup before we left, but our friend met up with us at the park to meet Leo. Hi, buddy. I feel so bad. I'm like literally running in, doing my makeup, blocking him, then leaving. Hi, oh my goodness. Hello. Hi. So anyways, um, I'm like out of breath. So my friend visiting us at the park kind of knocked me back in my day quite a bit, but it was really 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 good for leo so it was worth it i'm just gonna do a very very simple quick makeup look like 10 minutes or less because i need to take him out on a walk before i leave because he's gonna go nuts if i don't i'm on my way i just threw my hair up halfway there's like traffic coming up which is perfect i could use a stop so i can put on my pace i'm so stressed getting ready for this banquet is definitely not working out how i wanted it to at all i feel so so terrible for leo i literally came home for a half hour i walked him got dressed and then gathered up my makeup and left because like that was the best that i could do like at this point i'm getting there with like six minutes to spare which is great because i just need to make sure you know parking and stuff like i have a little bit of a buffer for that but it was definitely not enough time for me to do my makeup at home so really really hoping right now that I can at least get a decent ish face done right now in the car you know in between like stoplights and stuff which I don't advocate for this this is not ideal you shouldn't be doing this 
I really just like I had no choice today. I, I'm like realizing I should have, you know, when my friend wanted to visit. I should have told him like 10 minutes tops, but it also had been like so long since I'd seen him. Trevor hasn't even seen him in a while, so like we're just catching up and stuff. And again, it was so good for Leo to meet another person especially one who he may from time to time possibly stay with if we're just like gone for a night or something assuming that you know eventually we'll introduce our dogs and if they get along then we can watch each other's dogs again because his dog our friend who i met up with today his dog was actually spartacus's best friend so we're hoping to get them together at some point in the next few months so that they can meet and hopefully they'll be friends as well but for right now you know meeting our friend it definitely went well and leo was so good so it was definitely worth it but now i'm just like stressed out of my mind right now so i am doing my best right now it's like those memes that you guys see where it's like so what do you do for a living my best i do my best that's literally like what i feel like today then also to my hair was being so stubborn today. Of course today, it was being so stubborn and didn't want to process, didn't want to light in. So I thought my hair appointment would take like an hour and a half and it took almost two and a half hours. But that didn't help because I was like calculating in my head. I'm like, okay, if I can get home by this time, I can do like a super fast face and take him on like a 20 minute walk. Then I got down to like, okay, 15 minute walk, super fast face. And eventually it was like, okay, 15 minute walk, then I can go inside, take five minutes to change, five minutes to gather up my makeup and do my makeup in the car because that's that's the only option I have now. So that's where we're at right now. I'm attempting to do my makeup, a little bit of traffic, which actually works in my favor <laughs> because we keep stopping and starting and stuff. So when we stop, I can like do a step really quick, <laughs> but yeah, I'll just keep working and I'll show you guys where I land once we get there. Also too, never got to charge my phone. So it's gonna die probably in about an hour or so. Just a whole hot mess right now. Checking in here. This is a little bit like doing that like, do your makeup without a mirror challenge. Uh, Cause like I have the mirror down, but I'm like not really looking at it. I'm just kind of winging it, realizing I don't have to do my forehead. I've got bangs, but I also just checked on Leo. <sighs> He's such a good dog. Like, poor thing. I mean, like I said, I came home. He got like a 15 minute walk, which it's not a long walk for him. I told Trevor we have to do like at least a half hour walk when we get home, but still not a, not a bad walk. And then I gave him a licky mat for while I was changing just so that he gets like a little bit more stimulation in, gets a little bit more energy out. And I just checked on him and he's just gone back to sleep on the couch. Like I absolutely hate coming home and then leaving within, in less than an hour of me coming home. Like I, I hate doing that. I don't wanna say I never have done that because like it, there's sometimes you, you can't help it. Like today I couldn't help it. Like I didn't have my outfit with me. I didn't have my makeup with me. If I had any inclination that my hair appointment would end up being an hour longer than I thought it was gonna be, I would have just brought my makeup to the salon and just done my makeup while my hair processed and then you know, had my outfit and changed there. But <sighs> hindsight is twenty twenty doing the best we can here this is where i'm at with the makeup base is done i just need a little bit of blush and highlight i'm gonna do the eyes but i don't it's like the tricky part oh my god all of my eyeshadow brushes just spilled everywhere but i think i'm just gonna brush like a single color over and then when i park i'm gonna do a wing but like what would go you know, all we can really do right now do this like you guys can't even see it but it's like a coppery color brush it and smoke it out not even really looking just like a little wash of color and luckily this has like a little bit of a shimmer in it so it looks like I tried and I mean I am trying but I didn't sit at my vanity and do my makeup right now oh my gosh okay cool so once I park all I have to do is my lower lash line liner mascara I might as well do actually you know what I'm like I'm like five minutes out Ooh, I'll be able to finish the rest of my makeup part fantastic update on the saga I am almost there with 12 minutes to spare 
so I can do a little bit more with my eyes. I can do actual liner just so that I can look pulled together. I always say like if you need to do like a super fast makeup look but like you need to be pulled together. For me, biggest things are gonna be blush, liner, and like some kind of foundation powder because you can kind of like slap bronzer and blush on and then if it's like looking all crazy, you can just go over it with a powder foundation really lightly or heavily just kind of depending on how much you need to blend and it'll just kind of smooth everything out. So pro tip if anyone is ever in the same kind of boat as me, but I'm pulling up to park right now. I'm gonna finish the face. Just gonna do a thin wing. It's a very easy one. Needs like a minute. Lip liner. Last step. <laughs> I mean, I might put on a lipstick, but I don't need to do that in the car. Again, please don't do this. I mean, makeup in a parked car. Fine, but doing your base on the freeway. Cool. Okay, hair's not going up. It's just staying down. But, okay. You see? So, here's how the makeup came out. Not bad. Could have been better. Could have been a lot worse, but. Head on in. All right, here we go. Look at Trevor looking all nice. For once, right? <laughs> no, you look nice sometimes. But here's the view. We're like, we're not at the top of the hill in orange, but we're probably about like halfway-ish up. So, got a view of Orange County. I know, I know the cars are kind of blocking it but we're at Orange County Mining Company for tonight's banquet. Back from the banquet, clearly, if you can see my outfit. Got Leo crunching on a duck foot right now. I put it in his dinner. I usually put like one duck foot in there. I guess it also helps like clean their teeth and stuff, but I passed up dessert there because we've got crumble here. This is from the previous week that this is going up. So they'll have a new menu by the time this comes out, but I was a big fan of this week and all I could think of, they, they brought out dessert and it was like some chocolate cake or something and it looked okay, but I was like, I'd rather just eat my crumble when I get home. So we took them on like a half hour walk, which is perfect because I was so full and now I've worked up an appetite again. So good. I'm just gonna do two because I am still a little bit full. Leo is actually, hi buddy. He's actually getting groomed for the first time tomorrow. We haven't gotten him groomed yet. I don't know how he's gonna be, so. Luckily his trainer actually grooms, so he's gonna be going there because I just. I'm watching that video really quick. Okay. I just want to make sure that he's going to be good, slash I want to know how he is when he's getting groomed, and I know if he acts up, if his trainer is grooming him, she's not going to let him get away with shit. And she'll tell us like straight up if he was bad. You know, like some people like don't want to be like, oh, your dog was bad, so they'll be like, no, he's pretty good. Like, no, she's going to be like, he was good, but he needs to work on this, this, and this, so kind of like a plus that she does that. Sir Hops and I just got done at the park. He's back here like looking out the window because we just passed the dog park so he's going crazy but dog parks are not allowed because we don't want reactivity but he did go to the park for a while we just like walked around and stuff it was very busy so it was good we were passing a lot of dogs on a lot of practice because it's the first time i'm gonna bring him into petco i have brought him into a pet store before just once but there were no other pets in there so it was fine but I feel like Petco is gonna be busy since today is a Saturday. So I'm a little bit nervous about walking him through Petco. But we are on the way for his first grooming session with us slash his first grooming session with his trainer. She grooms out of Petco for right now. She is eventually gonna do a, like a mobile pet grooming service, I believe. But Leo definitely needs to be groomed before she gets up off the ground. I don't know when that's actually happening. And I mean, she was like telling you, she's like, you can probably just bring him to like any Petco. She's like, I recommend Petco for grooming. And we were thinking about it and we were just like, you know what, we've never gotten him groomed before. We don't know how he's gonna be. We would rather just take him to her Petco, which is about like 35 minutes away from us. So it's definitely not close, especially considering we've got like three Petcos within like a 15 minute mile radius of us. I would just rather drive to her again, just with it being his first time. I don't know how he's gonna react and stuff because he already knows her, so he's gonna be more comfortable. Like anytime she comes over for a session, he's so, so excited. He's like, my friend is visiting and we're gonna play games and stuff and I'm gonna learn. So he adores her. So I was just like, I'll just feel so much better if I drive to you and you do it. And then she also, since she's our trainer, she knows she has full authority to correct him. So that is why we made the decision 
even though it's a bit further to just go to her. But I'm very excited for him to get groomed. I got him like the full suite. He's gonna get de-shedded. He's gonna get his ears cleaned. I think that they do a teeth brushing in the package that I got. So I'll get to know how he does when like someone else is touching his teeth. Like I've touched his teeth because just for training and for desensitizing him. I every once in a while kind of like touch his mouth, lift his jowls, touch his teeth and stuff just so that he's kind of like used to it. And then, you know, heavy treats as I'm doing that. But yeah, I'm just like, I'm super excited for him to get groomed because he's also starting to get kind of stinky. So <laughs> it's definitely time. And I'm just, I'm nervous to bathe him myself because of getting him into the bathtub. I mean, he's very athletic and he maneuvers so well on his three legs, but I don't know why the bathtub is especially scary to me. Even back when Spart used to get bathed, I mean, he literally would just walk into the bathtub. He was like tall enough. He had to do like a tiny hop, but not too much. Leo is smaller. He's gonna have to jump in and just with like how slippery it can be in there. Even when it is dry, you know, like a bathtub is just like, there's no traction. But yeah, with like how slippery it is in there, him having to jump, only having three legs. I don't want him to hurt a leg because again, going down to two legs for a dog, that's where it's very difficult. Even if he just like temporarily injures it, I, I just don't want him to be like miserable and not able to like walk and run and do all the things he loves to do. So I was just like, I'd rather take him to a groomer where they like have the facilities and he can have an easier time like getting into the tub or the shower or whatever they have. So anyways, we're on our way. I brought cheese for him since that's his high value. Very excited that we found that. And yeah, I think that this appointment's gonna take about like two to three hours, my email said. So I'll probably just like grab lunch. I need to get gas. And then also like shop for him. He needs some like treats and stuff. In the meantime, while I'm waiting. Just dropped off Leo. It was funny. As I was signing him in, his trainer came back from lunch. So she came through the door. I heard the door open and I like, at first I got like nervous that someone was coming in with their dog. Cause I felt him, he was like laying down and I felt him get up and just start moving around all animated. And I like whipped my head around and I realized it was her. He could, he just got excited. Cause like he, he knew her. He was like, Hey, so yeah, she took him. She said she's going to get started on right away. So I've got a couple hours to myself here. I need to get gas. I'm going to go get myself some lunch. Then I'll probably head back to Petco because like I, I think I said, already. I need to get him some more treats and stuff. So I'm going to do a little mini shopping session there. And then if he's still not ready by then, there's actually like a TJ Maxx next door. There's a Nordstrom Rack across the way. Tons of things that I could just like browse at. And there's also a Trader Joe's. So just kind of like the perfect area for me to just like bum around and hang out in. Just got gas. And then I ended up just like placing my Petco order while I was getting gas so that by the time I get back to Petco, I can just go to the front desk and get it. It's a lot hotter than I anticipated, but I got dressed today. There was like definitely a breeze in Costa Mesa because you know, we're not that far from the beach and it was cooler. And then I did not think about the fact that I was gonna be driving to Brea, which is a little over half an hour inland. So it definitely got warmer. <laughs> but I also changed with the intention of staying warm for later today because I'm helping my friend document her flower girl proposal for her daughter. You guys have seen them on the vlogs here before. Her daughter's name is Kylie. She loves saying hi to you guys on the vlogs. But yeah, I'm gonna like film and take pictures of the flower girl proposal for them. And we were originally gonna go to the beach. And it's kind of windy today over by the beach area. So my friend switched it to the No Gucci Gardens over at South Coast. So now I don't have to worry about like an ocean breeze or anything. So I'm gonna need to change when I get home because I am roasting. And all of these thrills don't count for living A little more will is all it takes So I persevere, I'm not afraid and Okay, hi buddy! I know it's hard to see him, but he is washed and fluffed and de-shedded with his beautiful bandana. I'm super, super glad that we made the decision to just say fuck it and drive all the way over here to get him groomed because she said for the most part he was very, very good, but he absolutely did get overwhelmed a couple times. She said that he was deathly afraid of the blow dryer. So his appointment ended up taking longer than it was supposed to because he had to end up air drying instead. He just had way too much going on. And when she was brushing him, he was letting her know, like he didn't, he didn't want to be brushed. He was like grumbling and growling a little bit. So she just kind of like let him be. So we both definitely think that this is something he needs to be desensitized to. I mean, he might've gotten groomed before, but it does actually seem like this might've been his first grooming session. Or if not, he just very, very rarely ever got groomed before. And for his breed and his coat, I want to be doing this about every other month or so. So I'm going to keep bringing him to her and we're just going to keep working on desensitizing him to like different stages of it. It wasn't like bad at any point, but he definitely did get uncomfortable and overwhelmed. So we're going to work on that, huh, buddy? But she said for the most part, you were so good. Yeah, 
and she said that he was actually really good with other dogs back there. I mean, everyone is kenneled, but he wasn't like freaking out too much back there. So we're actually going to do a training session slash play session with her dog at some point this week because I mean, she knows him, but having spent even more time with him today, she was like, their energies match. We can definitely get them together because her dog is like a little bit more of a dominant personality, but also very high drive, high energy like Leo. She was saying, it seems like they might actually mesh pretty well because Spark did meet her dog a couple times, but we didn't start with her dog. We started with her assistant's dog because her dog is so dominant. For Spartacus, it was just too much, but for Leo, it'll probably be fine. So I'm excited that we can and set up a time for him to finally get to interact with a dog. We haven't let him be interacting with a dog lately because, you know, we're working on being neutral and stuff like that. And also, we just want to make sure we do it right. So we want the first time we ever did any interactions with other dogs for our trainer to be present so that she could direct, look out for any, like, warning signs and stuff and educate us on what to be looking for. I mean, Spirit did have dog friends, but towards the last few years with him, we fell out of practice with play dates and stuff like that because he did start to get more withdrawn. So we just, like, need a refresher on, you know, what to do to make sure that, you know, whenever we do want to introduce him to a dog that we want him to be friends with and have play dates with, that it's always successful. So I'm very, very excited to get him and her dog together this week. I think that that's gonna be really, really fun. But I'm on my way home now. I'm basically just gonna drop him off and then I'm heading out from there to go meet up with my friend. So I got Leo inside. I'm on my way to meet up with my friend. I'm really bummed because, so I think I've mentioned in a few vlogs, I need to get my Sony camera repaired. That is no longer the case. I need a new one. I went to try to turn it on because it's the viewfinder that wasn't working on it before, but I could still like take photos if I need to through like the little, I don't know the technical terms for everything, but like the little lens hole or whatever. I put fresh batteries in there and it doesn't work. It's not working. It's officially dead and I'm super, super bummed because I love that camera. Luckily, I mean, I, I own the lens, both lenses for it. So I just need to buy the body, but the body is not cheap. Anyways, there's that fun new development. So I'm like bummed about it for today. I wanted to simultaneously be able to take video and photo for my friend, but I think it's just mainly gonna be video. That kind of sucks. Oh, the setup's so cute. This too. Oh, I love this. Oh. Here, I'll take my camera and move everything. Okay, no, you're fine. It looks so good. Yeah, perfect. So I'll set this down on a tripod okay. so it can just capture all of it. Okay. And then I'll take photos with your camera. <laughs> Creeper. But you have a nice car. What's up, guys? I got a feeling. I got stars and cars on Wow, look at you, huh? You look like you got a makeover, buddy. We just got back from dinner. Our friends came over afterwards with their daughter and helped us walk Leo. He was so good. He was so sweet with everyone. We'd always been told that he's great with kids because he, like, I think a couple of his foster homes had kids, but that was the first time we'd seen him interact with a kid and he was so gentle with her. So we're very, very proud of him and kind of worked out. He got groomed today. So he's putting his best foot forward. Trevor and I are gonna watch a movie. We're gonna watch Cocaine Bear. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's seen that, but he showed me the trailer and it looks very interesting. So we're gonna settle in with a couple of Topo Chicos and uh, call it a night after the movie probably. Well, good morning, buddy. Good morning. Oh, okay. Look at you. You're so fresh and clean still. Yeah. Good morning, you guys. I just got ready. Trevor and I are doing an early morning for me, but we're actually headed out to Irvine Great Park. Trevor has a rare Sunday off right now. So we're gonna go ride the hot air balloon there and then also hit up the farmer's market for just like a nice little Sunday morning. This is the outfit for today. I want it to be warm because I don't know how windy it's gonna be in the hot air balloon. I have on my vintage Harley bomber jacket and just like an oversized white tee that I have tucked in here. This one is from H&M. Jeans are, I think, mom jeans from Cotton On. And then I have all my Air Force Ones and just my long chomp bag. But that was the fit, and we are gonna head out of here right now. First name, my lady. So it's up. We're waiting to get a text to say to come back, but it went up, so <laughs> feeling more optimistic. When we went in to sign up for the wait list, they were like, Yeah, it, we're not. 100% sure if it's going up today, so we've just been kind of like walking around and waiting, but I feel like that's a good sign. Yeah. Yeah. We also went to the farmer's market. Yeah, that's true. We got dinner. You want that for dinner tonight? Yeah, we'll see. We'll talk about it. We got truffle gnocchi, fresh made, 
and fresh made vodka sauce, so. Which I have a hard time making. Yeah, but, okay, so that means like what, in like any minute? We should, I'm surprised we haven't gotten a text. Like you said, this one might be a test, but I mean, it looks like it was fine. Yeah. So, I don't see why not. No, they're gonna say it's windy. Right. No, there's zero wind. All right, y'all, it's happening. We just got called up on the wait list, so we're going in. <laughs> Fourth time's a charm. That's shaky. Yeah. <laughs> we go floating in the outer space. <laughs> So we finally got to go on this damn balloon. And I think for anyone who's like relatively newer and didn't see our other attempts to go on this balloon, Trevor is actually <gasps> deathly afraid of us. <laughs> He's still coming down. <laughs> it's fine, we're not on the balloon anymore. You're okay. <laughs> I never uh, said I wasn't okay. I was fine, I handled it like a champ. Oh, okay, so that wasn't you doing the sign of the cross on the... My arm slipped oh, and I had okay. to move it. And okay. I, you know, we were moving, so I don't know what movement it made. Oh, got it, got it. It was very clearly the sign of the cross. Uh, you're welcome to interpret any mm. hand movement in any way you want. Mm. That just tells mm. me the type of person you are if that's what you saw. Oh, it's like okay. an ink blot. Actually, it says more about you that you did that considering we don't practice anymore. Uh, I mean... <laughs> What you do is what you do. Uh, I can neither confirm nor deny what you do. <laughs> so Trevor was a little bit uh, shaky on the balloon. At one point I went to pat him on the back and he was like, don't you that. <laughs> and he was like. Uh, I would was, love to see this evidence. Please show me. <laughs> he was like white knuckling. I, again, please show me. <laughs> don't. It's a really nice fire station. <laughs> it is. Oh, oh, funny! But now we're gonna get his uh, his car wash. So <laughs> you feel better now you're on the ground? Yeah, where God intended us to be. <laughs> we're not meant to be up in the air. <gasps> like the balloon only goes up 400 feet, and 40, then no, 400 feet, and then literally goes up and down. And as we're boarding, Trevor's like. Well, I guess we're going into space now. <laughs> we were looking at the top of airplanes going underneath us. Uh, no, we weren't. Airplanes fly at 400 feet now? I feel like that's dangerous. Well, look it up. They do. <laughs> For anyone wondering, yes, he is also a nervous flyer, so. <laughs> Good job, babe. You did it very proud of you. I don't really appreciate this <laughs> condescending talk of who I ought to be. Did you really think one man could let me down? Girl, you know you're the one I 